Good morning everybody, good day, whenever you're watching this. Gerdy Verwoerd here, their Great League Guide and Coach. And I am kicking off a series on how to safely hike mountains when you want to go into nature by yourself and um, find the rest and the quiet and the beauty that you need to completely de-stress, to hear yourself think again and to reconnect with yourself. Now that, in my opinion, in my experience, is um, best done when you go into the mountains. That can't be a surprise because I moved to the mountains and maybe for some people it's someplace else, but I want to focus on hiking safely, hiking mountains solo. And you can use the tips that I'm going to give you in this series for any kind of hike in any kind of nature, but I'm focusing on the mountains because that's where my heart lies, that's where I go when I want to reconnect with myself, want to de-stress and just want to immerse myself in natural beauty. I'm walking my dog, so if I stop every now and again that's why. Um, so if where I want to, where I go when I want to immerse myself in natural beauty and um, I just know about the mountains, that's the easiest part for me. But as I said, you can, hi you can use the tips that I'm going to be giving you for any kind of hike in nature. But first, I want to share, you, uh, to share with you guys a story about, uh, from my own life, my own hiking experiences, to, um, to show you guys, to, to, let, to impress perhaps, on you guys, on you, the importance of going into the mountains, going into nature for that matter, prepared. So, this story starts on a beautiful sunny morning, the second time when um, I was on vacation, on holiday, in the Austrian Alps. The previous year I had been there and hiked, I think, Two, maybe one week with uh, a group under the ex expert guidance of an experienced mountain hiking guide and this time around I was not in a group I was by myself and I figured you know how hard can it be I can walk let's go for a mountain hike that's why I had come to the mountains after all so I packed some food I packed water not just for myself but for Paco my dog as well and um, I had taken a cursory glance at the map, noticed that where I wanted to go, which was the Riemann house, a cabin, a mountain hut high up in the mountains. There was, the route there was a pretty simple one. Just park your car at the parking area and uh, hike into the valley, pretty much straight into that valley, up a mountain a little ways and then um, you know, I'd be fine. I'd get to uh, the Riemann house where I wanted to go. So I did. After some searching, I found the parking area. I uh, set off and pretty soon found that there were some glaring holes in my plan. First of all, how could I not have noticed how ridiculously steep this um, this trail was. As I stopped, when I stopped for, to get to catch my breath, I had to stand sideways, and even that wasn't comfortable because standing with my feet in the direction I was going was uh, as though I was in a continuous stretch of my calf muscles, which felt really uncomfortable. But standing sideways wasn't comfortable either, so it was. Ridiculously steep. That was number one. And then, how was it that I hadn't noticed when I took that cursory glance at the map that um, I left the forest pretty quickly and I was now hiking in the glaring sun. It felt like I was hiking in the desert. So it was really hot and I wasn't even halfway. And, I, and now that I stood in the landscape that I was hiking through, I could see 
that I would be in the, that same glaring sun without a chance of finding any shadow until I would get to the cabin. And then there was this dry riverbed beside me. What was that all about? There was supposed to be a river or a brook here and I was counting on that to refill my water supply. And I could tell that that wasn't going to happen. And as far as I could see on the map that I thankfully had brought with me, there was uh, no other water supply either until I got to this cabin. And just by, the, just in those first couple of minutes, in that first stretch, I could tell that the supply of water that I had brought was not going to be enough. Not for me, but certainly not for Paco. Because if you have a dog or have had a dog, you know that dogs are not equipped to um, to sweat. So they have a hard time getting rid of excess body heat and they are therefore a lot more susceptible to heat stroke and that kind of thing. But, but I had brought my map and I, uh, I saw a trail veering off into a forest. So I decided to do that. I didn't want to go back to my car because you know, I hadn't been on the way for that long and I had decided I was going to hike, so hike I must. So we veered off onto this trail and we went into the forest where at least we were in the shade, which was a lot cooler than in that desert-like environment. So off we went. And indeed, it wasn't as steep, it was shady, still not a lot of water, no water really. But uh, at least it was uh, not as hot anymore. And everything was fine until I got to a steep incline and had to descend there. And somehow I kicked loose a rock. Hang on. Oh, there's bugs around here that sting. Um, but uh, I kicked loose a rock and Paco, for whatever reason, decided to go after this rock and pulled me off my feet. Now I was very lucky, I fell, I landed on my bum on the trail instead of next to it, because had I gone over, I would have at least broken a leg and maybe had more serious in injuries than that. And as I sat on my bum on this trail, heart in my throat really, I realized, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I realized one thing, or a couple of things. I was, first, I was really lucky. This could have gone really, really wrong. Second, uh, I didn't really know where I was. Third, I didn't really uh, know how to get help either. So suppose I was lying there with a broken leg or worse. How? was I going to get people to help me off this mountain? I did bring my mobile phone, so that was lucky, until I realized or noticed that I had no reception. So there was a couple of things. I had no reception, no way of contacting people, and if I had had con a way of contacting people, I couldn't have said where I was. So sitting on my bum on this trail, recovering from my shock and waiting for my heart to drop back into its original position. I decided this was the first and final time that I was going to be going into the mountains, hiking solo and be so utterly, utterly unprepared to do it safely. So I went, obviously I came down this mountain, I got back to my car, nothing happened. We both, both my dog and I survived, but not because of my preparedness. I went and got a lot wiser. I took a couple of courses. I learned how to read the map. And I took those courses not because I wanted, uh, I think you abs absolutely need them, but I took those courses because I wanted to be a mountain hiking guide and realize that a mountain hiking guide needs to learn a couple of things and know a couple of things more and better than an average hiker. 
but um, I learned what I needed to learn to be able to safely hike mountains, either as a guide or privately, solo or in a group. So that's what this series is about. And this story is not to uh, scare you away from mountain hiking or from going into nature. This story is not for um, um, making hiking, mountain hiking, seem too dangerous because it uh, it isn't, but it can be. When you go into the mountains, into nature, solo or otherwise, unprepared, nature is always stronger than we are. Nature will, um, in the end, always win. So it's important to be prepared. It's important to know what you're doing. And um, when you do hiking, like any other activity in nature, can be perfectly safe. So, my, uh, my next, this is just, oh, my next video will come out oh, sometime and tomorrow or the day after. I'll try and uh, my aim is to bring out a brief episode every single day. But um, this was the kickoff. So if you are considering going into the mountains by yourself or with your family, with friends, and you're a bit anxious because you've never done it before and you would like to do it safely, join me next time as I kick off, as I kick off, I was going to say, as I um, start telling you all the things that uh, you can and should do, or, well, can and should do to um, prepare, to be prepare, prepared when you go into the mountains. So as always, go there greatly, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.